Hello everyone, my name is Simon Senmak and I will present the paper whose title you can see on this slide. Welding is a process characterized by the inevitable presence of defects which can decrease and compromise the safety and life of welded structures. This depends on the location and size of the defects which need to be below certain values given by standards in order to be acceptable. However, Standards such as EN ISO 5817 series only take into account individual defects and the goal of this research was what happens when several different types of defects are simultaneously present in a welded joint. For this purpose, a number of different combinations of welded joint defects were defined for structural steel S235JR. Along with the making of welded plates, numerical models representing each combination were developed. The goal was to numerically determine the behavior of such welded joints and then validate it using experimental methods. All defects used in these combinations were defined in accordance with ISO 65201 standard. Out of all defects which were considered, the most important one was the 2 mm vertical misalignment of plates which was a common occurrence in practice. Shown here, are the chemical composition and mechanical properties of the parent material S235JR. These properties were used as input data for the simulations. Of course, a more detailed and accurate base of such properties will be obtained after all of the tensile tests have been performed. Here you can see the chemical composition and mechanical properties of the filler material, the VAX60 wire, was also used in the simulation. As can be clearly seen, there is considerable overmatching in the strength of the parent material and weld metal, which would later affect the behavior of the models. As for the welding procedure, metal R gas welding was selected due to its simplicity and efficiency, as well as the fact that the parent material in question has good weldability and does not have any additional requirements. Welding parameters can be seen in the table, and the slide also shows the geometry of the welded plate and the groove. The example of two plates before the welding is shown in the images and also has the visible 2 mm misalignment. One of the welded plates can be seen in this slide, including its root and weld face sides. As can be seen, welding was interrupted halfway and then continued until the end of the plate. This was done in order to use one half of the plate for one defect combination, and the other half for a different combination. Another pair of plates were welded following the same logic, but without the misalignment and with different defect combinations. The plate without the misalignment had defect combinations, which can be seen here. Both halves had incomplete root penetration, but very different weld faces, one having excess weld metal and the other having weld face sagging. As for the numerical simulations, all of them were performed using finite element method software Abacus 2017. The models were made in two dimensions, with geometries very similar to the ones obtained by welding. There is a number of advantages to this approach, mostly related to efficiency and reliability of models. In addition, such numerical simulations are repeatable and require very little effort and time to adjust in terms of input parameters, boundary conditions, loads, or any other factors. The model for one of the defect combinations is shown here with the boundary conditions and loads defined in the upper image. It was fixed on one end and subjected to a tensile load of 100 MPa on the opposite side in order to simulate the behavior in the future experiments. Finite element mesh is shown in the lower image and is made of hex finite elements. The size of the elements was determined after several iterations in order to confirm the convergence of the obtained results. Finer elements were used in the regions of interest for this analysis around the welded joint. This part of the presentation will focus on the results of the static analysis of the four initial models, starting with the combination shown on the slide, 
one of the misaligned welded joints. Here that the critical location in terms of stress concentration is located in the fusion line of the root weld due to its geometry. This image shows the model with excess weld metal undercut and incomplete root penetration. Stress concentration is highest in the root zone, as expected due to the sharp angles caused by the lack of penetration. This is another case with the misalignment, excess root penetration and an undercut, and the stress distribution is similar to the first case with the misalignment. Stress magnitudes in this case were somewhat lower though. Small stress concentration can also be observed in the other sharp angle present in the weld joint geometry, the undercut located on the weld face side. Finally, this is the model with weld metal sagging and incomplete root penetration. Stress distribution is similar to the other case with no misalignments. Due to the symmetrical geometry of the model, which was not the case for any of the remaining ones, stress distribution is rather uniform here, focused mostly in the weld root. Maximum stress levels ranged from 237 to 314 megapascals, with the first model being the worst and the third one being the best. This would suggest that one of the misalignment model was actually the best and that the versions without misalignments were the worst case scenario. However, the truth was a bit different. An important factor that needs to be accounted for is the overmatching of the welded joint in this case. For this reason, stress magnitude alone was in not enough and this location also had to be considered in the analysis. In the models with the misalignments, highest stresses value were in the parent material, exceeding its yield stress and causing plastic strain. As for the cases without the misalignment, stresses in the parent material were not as high, remaining below the yield stress. Critical values in these cases were in the weld metal, which is considerably stronger. Hence, these two models remain in the elastic zone as far as the deformation is concerned. Detailed images of stress distribution for cases with and without misalignment illustrate the influence of overmatching on the results and can be seen in the images on this slide. Maximum values are located in different welded joint regions, one of which is safe, and that's the weld metal, and the other, which has entered plasticity, that was the parent material. Based on the previously shown numerical results, it can be concluded that different combinations of several welded joint defects simultaneously present in a weld can affect its behavior significantly, often in more ways than one. Noticeable differences were observed in stress concentration in entirely different locations and parts of the welded joint. All of this was due to noticeable differences in geometry which resulted from the introduction of these defects. The integrity of welded joints, whether it was compromised or not, depended mainly on which region of the welded joint had higher stress values due to considerable overmatching and the aforementioned effects of the geometry. Now we will consider the individual models and their results compared to each other. In general, two welded joint models with misalignment were confirmed as the less favorable scenarios as expected, since their stress concentrations were mainly located in the parent material, the weaker of the two. In addition, the case with two defects had shown the best behavior despite having the highest stress values since these were concentrated in the much stronger weld metal and as such did not undergo any plastic strain. This case simply involved a decrease in the load-bearing cross-section due to incomplete root penetration, but there were no other significant stress concentrators such as the sharp angles caused by the undercuts and, of course, the added influence of the misalignment. So its integrity was not compromised or affected in any meaningful way compared to the other models. The numerical simulations that were shown during these presentations actually represent the first stage of an extensive research on the influence of presence of multiple different types of welded joint defects on the welded joint's integrity. A number of plates were welded with intentionally caused co different combinations of defects and based on them, a number of models was made for the purpose of numerical simulation. 
all of these simulations were to determine which combination was most dangerous in terms of structural integrity. This, all of this was achieved by varying the welding parameters and using deliberately unfavorable geometry during the welding process. By comparing the results obtained from the numerical simulation, it was confirmed that the geometry of the welded joints itself has played a very important role. This was largely the, its influence on stress concentration locations, which could either be in the weaker parent material or the stronger weld metal. This affected the possibility of plastic strain occurring and, of course, potential crack initiation. And based on this, the worst cases were determined. As for the next stage of this research, it will involve the experimental verification of these findings by performing the tensile tests and seeing how well the obtained results and behavior match with the numerical models for the purpose of potentially improving them for later analysis. Well, that was it. Goodbye and thank you for your attention.